So today we're putting in the rails, uh, we got the posts in last week. The rails um, can be put between the posts. Uh, you can kind of have a three mortise uh, or I could actually notch the front of the posts and sit these into it. But I just think it's gonna, you're gonna expose bare wood that's not treated. So I'm gonna surface fix these on um, with some long decker screws. And, uh, and we'll leave the posts long and we'll cut them after we've got the rails all on. The posts are gonna be vertical and so are the pickets, but the rails are gonna follow the contour of the land because we've got a bit of a slope here. Once I worked out how high I wanted the bottom rail to be, uh, I carried that along so that the, the gradient of the land and the gradient of that bottom rail carried on all the way down. I wanted about 100mm of picket below the bottom rail and I think I ended up with 150mm above the top rail. So once I'd got on the first two and worked out the spacings, I then carried that along uh, over the gate opening and uh, transferred that line onto the next set of posts. I then used a spacer stick as I was working on my own. This is the easiest way to do it. And that I used on every post to make sure we had a consistent parallel line between the two rails. Two long deafening screws in each rail worked well. And then looking down the line of the fence is the easiest way to just see if you're off at all on any of the posts. This is the gateway, so I, the, in the opening I left them long and then cut them to length with a handsaw flush with the post. So the fence turns 45 degrees twice, so I, I cut with a circular saw rather than a mitre saw but it worked out fine and then when it got to this bottom stretch I then straightened it off again and used spirit level to make sure that was nice and level. And there are those 2x6 boards which are going to hold back the soil level when I build it up inside the bed pack. So I'm just kind of dipping in a bit more preservative, any cut ends. Uh, so here's where, the, where it turns the corner but it also drops uh, with the angle of the land. So uh, they were kind of compound mitres, so a little bit more tricky, but uh, after playing around a little bit with some scrap wood, I've got those angles sorted. And again, using that stick, uh, just to make sure everything's run parallel all the way around the fence. All right, that's all of the rails in from one piece at the end which I'm going to make a panel that slots in so we've got some access. Um, so now I need to mark all the tops of the post and cut them on an angle just for water runoff. So I'm just using a block to mark off where I'm going to cut my angles just because some of the posts are a lot higher than others. last post has got to be bolted to the wall. Uh, I still want to make sure it's kept off the floor at the bottom uh, and I've treated the bottom of that as well and we'll cut a runoff uh, to make sure there's no standing water on top. Um, so the plan is to use some big thunderbolts which are this sort of thing um, and they'll go through timber and bolt it into the wall into this stone wall. So when it came to bolting to the wall, I just needed to position it exactly where I needed it with a spirit level. And then I worked out roughly where my bolts were gonna go in. And I used a force in a bit to countersink the heads of the bolts because uh, the ones I had were a little bit too short. But also that meant that I could get the socket, uh, the size of the socket in there. And then I drilled through that with the masonry drill just to get some decent 
sticky uh, depth of holes. And then plenty more of the wood preserver in any of these holes I'm cutting or any cut edges and then I could start bolting them to the wall. So these bolts work well, they don't need any plugs or anything and they get a good bite into the concrete or stone and pull it in nice and tight. So there's three on this short post, which is probably overkill, but uh, I'm going to put a rail, a handrail on there as well, so I wanted it to be nice and solid. And then Joe and Eden came down and did their bit of painting. We painted all the posts and rails before we fixed the pickets on. And we actually painted the pickets separately as well. Far easier that way than trying to paint it after it's all put, and put together. So the next video will be up shortly and that will be placing all the pickets. Um, and that is almost finished now, so I'll get that up shortly. And things are beginning to take shape and looking nice. So remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you in the next video.